Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. This is the second part of this DAX series. In the previous video, we have studied some basic aggregator DAX functions. And now in today's class, we will study some more aggregator functions. So here are the topics guys. In today's tutorial, we will learn about this count function, distinct count, count rows, count blank and so on. I have uploaded this new table here guys. So let's look at the data set first. And here we can see some columns are with blank values. So we have 10 records here in this table. If I talk about this amount column, here we can see guys, here two cells are blank. And if I talk about this product column, so here two cells are also blank. So let's apply count function on this amount column. And one thing I would like to tell you guys, this column data type is integer, which is whole number. And now let's apply the count function. So let's go to the report view and click on this page. And from here, guys, I will take new measure. And I am renaming this measure as a count of amount. And now I will apply my count function. So we can see guys, here is only one parameter which is column name. So my column name is amount, which is from the new table. And I will take one card visual from here. And let me resize it. And let me drag and drop this measure into this card visual. Now go back to the data view. And under this column guys, we have two blank values. So this count function does not include blank values on integer data type. That's why our result is 8. So this time guys, I will apply count function on this product column. And this data type is text, which is string. So let me copy paste this visual. And let me remove measure from here. And again go to the new measure. And this time I will write count of product. I will use count dax function. And this time I will enter product column, which is from new table. And let me drag and drop this measure here. And here we can see guys, our result is different. Although we have two blank cells in product column. Let's go to the data view and here we can see guys, we have two blank values. That means count function count the blank value if our data type is text or string. That's why our output is 10 for string data type and 8 for integer data type. Now guys, let's study more about this count function. So guys, here in this data set, we have one more column of true and false. And if you look at the data type, here data type is true false, which is Boolean values in Power BI desktop. Basically, Boolean values means the values which are in true or in false. That means these are logical values. So now let's apply count function on this Boolean value. So again, let me copy paste this visual and let me remove this function from here. And now we will apply count function on Boolean value. So I will write here count of boolean and now I will use my count dax function and our column name is also boolean. Close the bracket and let me drag and drop this measure here. So guys it's not displaying anything. So let me click on this error link and here we can see guys this function count cannot work with values of type boolean. That means count function does not work on boolean data type, which is are in logical, true or false. I hope guys, now you have cleared with the use of count dax in Power BI. And now let's go to this notes page. So here we can see guys, the count function count rows that only contain following kinds of value, like numbers, dates and string. Blank values are skipped if data type is integer. We have already seen in amount column. 
blank values are not skipped if data type is text so we have applied same on the product column and does not support logical values which is true or false now we will quickly cover other dax functions so let's understand this distinct count so let's go to the data set first to understand distinct count so here distinct means that values are unique which are not repeated so if you are see this amount column so you can see 1000 is written on one row and also written on eighth row a similar way 3000 is written on 3 and on 6 if you look at the 200 so it is unique under this amount column if you look at the data type it is integer so now let's apply distinct count on this amount column so let me copy paste this visual and let me remove from here and firstly i will apply distinct count on amount column so i will rename it distinct count amount and now here i will use distinct count function and i will enter amount column So here we can see guys our answer is 5 now move towards the data view so if i click here on this filter button so here we can see guys we have five distinct value including blank cell so distinct count also include the blank values if data type is integer and now i will apply same dax with string data type which is on product column distinct count of product now I will use distinct count and this time I will enter product column. So here is no difference guys. So that means distinct count counts the blank value in both the data types either it's integer or string. So move towards the another DAX function which name is count rows. So let's create one measure from here. And I will rename it as count row. And now I will use DAX function, which name is count row. And look at the parameter, guys. Here parameter is table. So I will select my table name, not column name. So we have created this measure, guys. And let me drag and drop here. So, guys, it will count total cells in a row not matter either it's blank or non blank now let's quickly understand another dax functions so the next function is count blank so let's go to the data set guys and here we can see we have a blank column so that function is only counting the blanks value so we will apply count blank function on this blank column let me copy paste this visual and remove from here and let me quickly create one measure blank count so here is the function guys count blank and now i will enter my column name which is blank let me drag and drop here so guys our output is 10 that means it is only counting blank values if i added this measure and if I enter amount column here, so our result would be 2 because we have only 2 values under this amount column. So guys, this function is only deal with blank values. Now let's move towards the another DAX function, which name is distinct count non-blank. So guys, this function is not count blank cells if your data type is integer. So let's quickly create one measure. And I will renaming this distinct count non blank. And now I am writing the DAX function distinct count non blank. And now I will enter the column name, which is amount. So let me copy paste this visual and let me enter distinct count non blank. So guys, we can see our output is 4. Now go to the data view. If I click here on this filter button. 
so it's not counting this blank cell so it is counting only these four values so distinct count non blank not counting the blank cells and let me click on ok and if i add it with this string data type so let's see what happened so here is the measure guys which data type is string so we can see guys our result is same which is 5 which is same like distinct count that means on integer data type it ignoring the blank value string data type they will consider blank value as distinct now move towards the last topic of our class which is approximate distinct count so guys let me quickly create one more measure so let me type approximate so we can see guys we are not able to display any measure here because this function is exact to distinct count but it will not work on import mode it is only work on direct query against azure sql or azure sql data warehouse so this function we cannot use on import mode so let me delete this measure so i hope guys now you have cleared with all the concept of related to count and i hope guys you have also enjoyed this video and those who are watching this video first time or wanna learn power bi from scratch so here is the free youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham where i have explained each and every concept in detail and you guys can easily learn this power bi from this youtube channel and stay connect with us for more learning about power bi you guys can also connect me on linkedin for the paid sessions or free job support thank you so much guys